All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Wednesday. Beautiful day here in New York. A little cold. It was finally getting a little winter, it looks like. But uh, overall, it looks like we got a pretty nice day going on this morning. We've been trading this NAOV. You guys did pretty good today, right, Randy? Good to see you, Juan. Lita, Jesse, a lot of you made a lot of money in pre-market today. We're going to talk a little bit about it. That was a great pop from $1.20 all the way up to a buck seventy. In a matter of what 45 minutes and it still looks really really strong you guys give you a round of applause we're gonna check up we're gonna check back at uh check back with this stock in the next few moments uh but before we do that i want to talk about what happened yesterday okay actually i want to talk about what happened in the past month because there was so many stocks that we made so much money on and you know what they're getting crushed today actually being crushed the last couple of days okay and we need to talk about them because it's because of these stocks that you have to learn that you can't go broke taking profits and that's a slogan we use all the time and you know that we have phase three today for all the students that are here uh that are gold and platinum we're going to talk a lot about it but we're going to talk about some of those stocks and then we're going to go through the a and the b list but um let me just update something on my paper right here there's another stock I've been keeping an eye on. All right. So let me, let's me let go out there and just check out some of these stocks really quick. Uh, nice call, Fausto, on NABO this morning, Grant. Well, Grant, you know what? You're more than welcome. You know, that's what it's all about. That's why you're part of the team. And you know what? It was cheap. It wasn't expensive and all that good stuff. But that's why I always say early bird gets the money. All right. So... Let's go hop over here really quick, and uh, I want you to focus on the long-term chart. Just want to talk about some stocks that we traded, okay? Great stories, great run-ups. What happened with Excel? Excel just went from two dollars up to eleven, and right now it's almost it's below seven. Okay, great run-up. If you saw what happened the last couple of uh, within the day or so, stock making lower lows. You learn as a day trader. Some of you think it's the best thing sliced bread. I thought it was a great company too, but I don't, I, I, listen, if I let my personal feelings uh, get involved with a certain stock, believe me, I would have not been here 20 years ago, okay? Um, I, actually, I would never got into the industry. I'd probably be, you know, hammering, hammering nails, making, you know, two, 250 a day on a roof somewhere. It's not worth it. You, you, you can't, you know, there's so many great companies out there, woulda, coulda, shoulda, but there's also some of these things that, you know what? You could buy it back cheaper. But look at F-Cell. We're going to keep going down the list. What's happening with all, the, with all these electric cars? Huh? What's happening? Look at NEO. NEO, great run-up. We made a killing on NEO. We always got in and out of it. Stock was literally back in uh, July or, or June at like $2. Stock's at $55. Next best thing to uh, uh, Tesla. Look what happened the last couple of days. Started making a little bit of a Fausto flag. Started breaking down. Then it closed yesterday around 45. Look where it is right now. Down 40. Okay. So we're testing a big support level. Does that, does that mean it's going back to two? No, listen. There's always profit taking. I just teach you guys never to trade something that goes too fast like it does. So you got NEO. I'm not done yet. TLTR. How's that one working out for us? Great run up. Stock went from 10 up to 32. Look where it is now. Back down to 22. Okay. Not done. Nikola. Love the company, right? What happened with this one? This one officially news really came out bad on it. Stock was at 36. Stock got crushed yesterday. She's, you know, we traded yesterday. I, I still I still think like I, I'm, I'm focusing on this major support level. I'm still considering being a buyer. But some analysts came out and said the stock's worth at $15. Why even hold it here for $17? If I could buy it at $15, why not? But I've been watching a close eye on that one. You know it was a great run-up yesterday? It was ears. Look at ears yesterday, okay? Ears went from $1 to $6. Yeah, yeah, that's in one day. One day. That's what we do here at Cyber Train University. But then some of you, oh, yeah, I remember years. We traded it last year. The stock went to like 80, whatever. It, I, I, it was at 80. I don't even know. Let me go check. Uh, let me change the time frame here. Let's go monthly. Yeah. Stock was like with all the stock splits. Stock was at 1,400. Oh, maybe this is the, this is the bottom, right? Maybe this. Yeah, okay, great. Where is it now? It's down over 20%. All right. 
So when that, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast, you just got to look at it that way. All right. And like I told you, the Nikola trade was my best loss of the year. If I had that Nikola trade and I was not trading in pre-market and I didn't get out when I should have, I would have got crushed on that trade. Crushed. So um, so anyway, that was that's that's the past. And remember, here at Cybertrain University, I know we have people here watching uh, watching it on YouTube and Facebook Live, and you might just found this right now, and you know, and like, and they're probably wondering like, why is other people not talk about this? You know, wh why didn't you tell me where to buy and sell? One of the biggest things we always teach, and I constantly keep repeating it. I know everybody likes to see and tell people like the newsletters, and they want someone to tell them what to buy and sell. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this; it's against the law for someone to tell you what to buy and sell because unless they're registered, they can't do that. News for 25 years. I know there's some bigger and better and more famous people out there. Trust me, it's just a matter of time. The SEC and the FTC is going to crack down on them. Um, maybe some of you heard what happened to Online Trading Academy, okay? It's not good for the industry. It's actually bad for us and as educators. It makes us look bad. But sometimes, unfortunately, some people can't help themselves. Um, some people are just in the, in the selling class business. And you know what? That's what ends up happening. But anyway, getting back to what we do teach, we don't teach how to make money. We teach you how to stop losing it. Once you learn how to stop losing money, then the winners take care of themselves. All right, so let's go back and talk about what happened with some of the big winners. So anyway, the uh, we're going to start off with the A-list, the N-A-O-V. All right, so I want to give basically a couple of shout-outs right here because, and I want to do a couple of um, uh, applauses. For, first of all, Chuck made uh, 20 cents. Charles Z made 30 cents. Norm made 16 cents. Deb M made 14 cents. Phil made 19 cents. You guys give yourself a round of applause. I mean, listen, you don't got to kill it. You got in it. You learn how to trade market. You did pretty well. That's all that matters. So congratulations. You guys did pretty well on that stock. All right. Good for you guys. Uh, now, regarding about what happened yesterday, a uh, couple, of, couple of stocks that we're still keeping an eye on. Riot's doing pretty decent. You know, with, with cryptocurrency, that was doing pretty well. Uh, they made a nice afternoon recovery. Mara, same thing. Mara had a nice little move, nice little recovery. So I, I'm very still, uh, you know, we've been a fan of these stocks as a swing trade. But, um, but let me tell you. <laughs> I'm just looking at Nikola, man. Thank God I got out of that stock. That stock would have crushed me. Wow, look, I think it just took a big dive right here at the open. I want to see what happens uh, tomorrow. I know yesterday, if, if you were in my class yesterday, we actually did pretty well on this trade. We sold it out, but there was a 400,000. Yeah, yeah. Not 400, not 4,000, not even 40,000. 400,000 shares were looking to be bought at that price of $17. Now, how much is that? Uh, I was good with my math, but let me figure this out. 400,000 times, was it $17? Yeah, it's about almost $7 million. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of money right there. A lot of money. Anyway, I'm going to put that on my watch list because I want to trade that too. I'm going to keep an eye on it. When we get into phase three, for some of you, we're going to keep a close eye on that big buyer. Remember that. So we got the uh, the NAOV. We got the... We got the uh, we have uh, Nokia, and then we're going to check out uh, Nikola. We're going to check out the HO. FV that I found this morning is on the A-list. Cheap stock. You know, she's not up a lot, but I'm telling you, I'm not really seeing that much that's going on right now. Market, we had a nice little rally yesterday. We're down about, a, ooh, down about 180 points right now. I'm not really seeing too many crazy things going on a o i d another stock i want to put on the a list and the reason i'm putting us on the a list because stock is down about 50 percent. stock got hammered it's starting to go back up looks pretty decent so you know nice little push we'll see how the stock works out I want to keep an eye on this one too uh let's go on the b list now the b list we all know they always show up on the a list sometimes so we never we never want to neglect it at b that one up about 15%. Nice little level one stock. Nice little trend right there. It's kind of flat right now in pre-market, but I like that it's gapped up. It's cheap. Uh, the stock got hammered. If you can see it on a long-term chart, stock was right around $5. Broke down, went to about a buck. It's starting to break up. 
if it if it starts it looks like it's starting to fill in that gap if it's a gap fill the stock is a good sign so that's why i love gap fills all right and by the way if you want to know about gap fills go on our youtube channel subscribe to us and you can actually uh, I, I do a little bit of explanation what a gap fill is cogt another nice little stock mover it's not up a lot 267,000 shares i'm just not too crazy on the level three you'll notice there's not a lot of iceberg orders out there so i might want to you know that's why i made it on that list uh i'm gonna put xl on the list uh, how could i not uh and one last one i want to put on there is zoom zoom was a great short yesterday that came out with earnings announcements on monday uh monday afternoon after the close you know the stock has been on a big big tear why is zoom doing great we all know zoom because what happened with the um everything that happened with the coronavirus people are doing all zoom meetings all video conferencing they were basically the pioneer of it and uh listen vaccines coming out people go back to school people are not going to need as much so looking for that to be a pretty decent short um so that's that's the other thing Any, anything i'm missing guys oh yeah I've, I've, absolutely wendy uh you know blackberry blackberry also took a very big hit yesterday okay let me just show you it was a great winner yesterday and she also took a very very big hit you see but yeah so you can see that stock had a great run up great news stock went from six all the way to 950 backed right off started building some support levels right around seven she's starting to go up i'm going to put this one on the b list though not on the a list all right all right so then we got our watch list let's get ready for class if you're a student if you're new here to cyber Train university you're a trial member just remember we tell you just look listen and learn watch and see if it's for you find the real truth of trading let's see if this is this something you want to do and if it is hopefully we'll make you a student and if you're watching us on Facebook, uh, at YouTube live, just, um, just like us on the bottom, friend us. And subscribe. if you want to do a trial for $9, um, do it for a week. If it doesn't work out, we'll give you money back. So find out what the real truth about day trading is all about. Good luck. Happy trading everyone. And we'll see you back here at two 30. And don't forget tomorrow open house here at cyber trading university at 12 o'clock live at 12. Good luck everyone. Happy trading. Be safe.